Emotions can be understood using an arousal valence model. Arousal is the alertness or excitement a person feels, while valence codes emotional events as positive or negative. For example, happy and scared are both high arousal states, but scared is considered a negative feeling while happy is positive. Emotional states can be measured through physiological changes, such as electrocardiography, skin conductance, respiration, and electroencephalography. Skin conductance is most associated with high arousal, activating the sympathetic autonomic system, to produce tiny amounts of sweat that change the electrical conductivity of the skin. All people have a shared set of facial expressions that make reading emotions universal. That's how we can tell another person's emotional state, such as the following expressions observed during this study. The HCI tagging dataset was used in this study. Participants watched 20 emotion-inducing videos with a survey and neutral video in between each video. The subject's emotional states were determined by facial expressions instead of valence ratings, due to high participant variability. A correlation existed between decreased RR intervals, meaning an increased heart rate, and an increased skin conductance response at high arousal states such as when a subject was laughing or physically jumped due to fear. A low frequency range of 0.04 to 0.15 Hz in heart rate variability has been hypothesized to show the activation of the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. A continuous wavelet transform was used to measure the similarity between the signal and the low frequency wavelet. By isolating the low frequency domain, the emotions activating the sympathetic nervous system are determined. We hypothesized that fear would cause a sympathetic nervous system activation due to the fight or flight response caused by the skin. But the opposite was found. The low frequency range showing sympathetic nervous system activation was found when the subject laughed instead. Laughter's positive valence and fear's negative valence were differentiated using the continuous wavelet transform. The box on the left was when the subject laughed while the box on the right is when the subject jumped when they were scared. As we can see in both cases, the heart rate increased for both high arousal states. The skin conductance also showed a spike in both instances. A bright yellow coloration on the continuous wavelet transform represents a high magnitude of a wavelet. This means the heart rate variability's low frequency range appeared where participants tended to laugh. Respiration was included to further differentiate the valences. The peak height of the maximum inhalation and area under the curve were both used. The inhalation was usually higher and had more area under the curve for positive valence. Patches around the bright locations were extracted for both laughter and fear. The high dimensional features were projected onto a low dimensional space using principal component analysis. The highest peak and area under the curve were selected as respiration features and also processed using principal component analysis. Both methods were able to partially separate the valences but were combined to classify valences using machine learning. A J48 decision tree classifier was trained using seven features with leave one out cross-validation. A decision tree classifies a data point by recursively splitting on different feature values. The splits are chosen to minimize the uncertainty at each successive level of the tree. Using both the patches and respiration features, the classifier was able to differentiate between laughter and fear, or positive and negative valences, with an 85.7% accuracy. In the future, a state-space model will be used to classify these valences. The algorithm will then be put into wearable devices with smartphone apps to record and recognize a person's emotions. These applications can be used in treatments for those with mental illnesses, such as post-traumatic stress disorder or depression. To monitor emotional states and observe if treatments are improving a patient's emotional health.